Smokestacks at Madison Kip will be going up, and its pollution emissions might too. Kip is once again asking the DNR to lift its pollution limits, but it first has to meet some new air quality standards. Linda Eggert is following the story and has details now from the news center. Linda. Well, it's the latest chapter in a growing drama between Kip and some in the neighborhood. Once again, air pollution is front and center at the near east side plant. Only this time, in order to secure higher limits on things like chlorine, Kip must prove it can meet a new, more accurate state modeling system. It better predicts the impacts of pollution. To pass that system, Kip is proposing to raise or eliminate a number of stacks and roof vents at both its Atwood and Fair Oaks aluminum foundries. It's also proposing to cut the amount of aluminum die cast, but a neighborhood group believes Kip's pollution will still grow, that the new tougher modeling standard won't affect that. It's making for big improvements because it finally allows us to understand what the impact of their emissions truly are. And so as a result, they have to raise their stacks and disperse emissions more. But it doesn't change the fact whether they need to control their emissions. Clean Air Madison, KIPP's main neighborhood opponent, thinks state air quality standards are outdated, especially for residential areas like the Atwood area. What the group really wants is KIPP to voluntarily install some pollution control equipment. KIPP's now going after the same sort of pollution increases it sought and won in a lengthy court battle over a year ago. It voluntarily gave up those higher limits, though, after a judge ordered it to install air monitors around its plant. Now, KIPP says it's seeking 60% of the hikes it got last time around and the ability to inject chlorine into both of its furnaces. Linda Egger reporting from the News Center tonight. Linda, thank you. You're welcome.